Did it tell you all you're being recorded? Yep. 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 That's exciting when I do it right. Um, so this month I was looking around online and I found, let me pull up the right, all right, what do you guys see? Oh, free shipping? No. <laughs> <laughs> free shipping? Yeah. DIY macrame jar hanger. You can make in Perfect. five minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm very good at switching back and forth between things. And I have two different monitors, so I never know what I'm sharing. So I happened upon, it wasn't this exact one, but it was very similar. And they made little jars. They put twinkly lights in theirs. Cute. And made little macrame holders for oh, them. And I thought those were super duper cute. cute. Oh. And I thought we needed to make them, especially because I knew my mother had a god awful amount of those jars available. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, hey, mom, you think you got like, uh, I don't know, like 25 or 30 of those jars? And she's like, why, yes, I do. Let me bring them to you. <laughs> Where did they get these jars? Yeah, what are they from? They are um, yogurt jars. Oh, really? Um, there's a picture. Give me just one second. Yeah. We jo yogurt jars. Oh. Uh, yes. oh. And they are a creamy French style yogurt. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> that are pretty good. Yeah. And Supposedly, you can buy lids to go with the jars because lots of people use them for things, but I have heard very poor results in the lids. I was very sad by that. Mm. My mom got some, and I don't know if they were the ones from the company or if they were like a knockoff brand, but she said they, they leaked. And I'm like, well, that's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So this was my inspiration which led me to look up a whole bunch of macrame stuff because I'd never really played with macrame. So I found all sorts of things. To start with, my friend Judy. Judy's here somewhere. Hi, Judy. She usually can't get her sound or her video to work. I made it so out cute. Years ago. She, she <laughs> sent me this website or this Facebook page and it had all these macrame things and she said scroll down to the bottom and see the biggest macrame thing I've ever seen but before I scroll down too far this one right here I want curtains like that will somebody make me these <laughs> yeah. aren't they pretty they are. Yeah. I mean, back, in the, that. back in the 70s that was the thing yeah I was just going to say that I, I made an the owl 70s. Yeah, my mom did. Yep. I made an owl. I made a table. <laughs> but I remember him looking more like this, not like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well not yeah. not that I remember them because I was. Yeah. We that know. looks lacy. That's pretty. Yeah. So way down here at the bottom. Check that out. Whoa! Wow. Wow. That's wow. Huge. Oh my Isn't goodness. That amazing. That's, that's a piece of art. That's pretty. Yeah. Can you imagine? How did they cross his strings over without getting tangled right. up? Yeah. Oh, the same way you figure out how to do it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is my first time, so <laughs> I hope it's simple. I, I only make simple things, don't worry. Thank you. Um, give me just one second. I was just trying to make sure nobody else joined and I can't get my view back. What the heck did I do? I don't know. I hope nobody else has joined us because I can't figure it out. Whatever. It didn't ding at me yet. All right. So I showed you my inspiration and I showed you my some some beautiful things. Let's see if I slide this over here. Now what do you see? Uh, Here's the board with the yarn. Awesome sauce. 
Bo. Oh, there they are. Here, give me your ruler. Sorry, give me just one second. I found what I've been looking for. All right. So we have this board with all this. Okay. Are we supposed to have board? No, I'm going to show you some things first. So what I'll do is I'll show you some things. I'll show you some examples. Um, I sent you all an email like maybe uh, 45 minutes ago that had some links in it. Yeah. Um, and I'll and I'll go through some of those with you also. But they they had some really good um, step by step how to do knots if you want to try different knots. So this. This is the first one that I made. This was my first example to make sure I knew how to do it. And these knots are square knots. And I've, I've made this one a couple of times because I, then I needed to figure out how much I actually use so that I gave you guys enough. And um, so when I put it back together, I played with it and I did square knots. At the top, I just twisted it, but it makes it go, my loop is too big. But I liked it twisted better than untwisted because it, it looks neater. And then this top knot that I used, I th think that's a square knot also, but I don't really remember. So this is my first example. Oh, let's talk about the jars again for a second. So a couple of you got jars that have a, some might have a design like this, some might have stripes. The rest of them are clear. I didn't have enough clear for everybody. I tried though. Um, you could decorate this however you wanted. If you want to plant something in there, you could, but don't want to see the plant, the dirt and stuff, you could decoupage a napkin on it. Super duper easy. You could paint it. You could draw on it with Sharpies. If you want to put twinkly lights in it and draw on it with Sharpies, that would be pretty. Are, are we supposed to be seeing you in little picture or are we supposed to be watching your t your desk? Oh, you know yeah. what? I'm so sorry because I can see myself really good over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Sorry. So this is, some of them are plain. Some of them have stripes. Mm -hmm. You could decoupage it. Oh, cute. You could paint it. You could draw on it with Sharpies. I meant to have my children make some more examples, but time got away from me. And I'll show you this, my knots better here. So this is my hanger part. I twisted it, but it's too long. So when I let go, it twists itself. So if I were to do this one again, I would make my loop shorter. Um, this, I. I don't remember what kind of knot that was. These are square knots. And I'll show you some, some different, how they look, how some of the knots look different. It's kind of hard to see with this um, twine because it's all hairy. This was my second attempt. I braided my loop on this one, mm. which nice. makes it much nicer. Mm -hmm. And then this knot is just a, yeah regular not like that. And then when I come down here, these knots I did square knots and they looked so much prettier than um, just a regular knot, which is what I did the very first time. Yeah. And then these ones I think are called eternity knots and these ones I think are called I think that's the oysterman knot I don't remember though but they're different knots and I'll show you some more different knots in just a second oh right now because they're right here so the first knot this is a I wrote these down so I wouldn't mess them up um, this is just a square knot and a square knot is pretty easy I'll do it on here for you. You can do it with two strings. You can do it with more than two, with 
two strings and then do it over top of it. Or you could put four strings in there and make a square knot over top of it. But I'm going to just do two because that's what we're going to do. And it's pretty easy. You just go over like you're tying a knot. And then you come and you do it the opposite direction. And then when you pull them tight, they look like a square. Okay. That's all a square knot is. Um, so that's what these look, this knot is. It has two strands in between it though, which you would just feed and tie the knot around the two strands. This is the square knot without the two strands. This one is a stevedore knot, and I just really like the name of it. It was fun to say. Um, and I can show you how to do that one in a minute. This one is a half hitch, which that's what a lot of the macrameum knots are, the ones that like travel in a line are half hitches. And then this is a stevedore knot again. And these knots are just a regular knot where I just made a loop and, sorry, made a loop and pulled it through like that. And I don't like them as much compared to all the rest because they're so fat. They don't lay as flat. These two are an eternity knot, which took me a while to figure out. But I'll show you how to do them if you want me to. And these two are oysterman knots. And I really like the example that I saw of an oysterman knot, but I could not get it to look, mine don't look the same, so I don't know what I did wrong. So I can show you all of those in just a minute. Some other fun knots I found, and they're in those links that I sent you. This one is a cross knot. So on this side, it looks like this. And on this side, it looks like this. And I think it's really pretty. And I want to make that the top loop of mine because I really liked it. I really struggled with this one though because I forgot to leave the, make it a loop at the top. So as I'm pulling the strings tight, I'm like, this is not right, not right at all. And my friend Erin was here at the library and she was laughing at me because I was yelling at my stuff. It was, it was entertaining. Um, and then just for fun, because I wanted to see how to do it, I made a button knot. Oh, that's pretty too. And that one was also a challenge because you make, you make one knot first and then you just keep feeding, following it around to make it bigger. But I didn't understand that at first because I'm like, where, how did they do that? <laughs> where did that happen? So I thought it would be neat to make it the top, like at the top of the hanger. Mm -hmm. But it would be really hard to do with, you'd have to tie the extra, because you need eight strings to do the rest. It would be really hard to do that because it's only one string. So you only have two tails. So you could do it with several strands, but it was really hard to do with just one strand. So I'm not sure how that would work. But I challenge you all to do it. So it's your job. Okay. All right. All right. So for our craft, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our string. And you're going to um, Oh, hold on. So you're going to make it so you have four, four equal length strings. So I'm going to hold it in half and cut that, cut them so I have four equal length. Oh, I just made a knot. Go me. I forgot to tell you, you need scissors. I'm sorry. I meant to mention that again. I got them. So you do want us to cut the string into Correct. four pieces? So cut it into four equal length pieces. You just take it in half. Yep. You have to cut it once. 
There we go. Oh, we well, gotta cut the other end. Scissors whacked. Come on. There. Ready? Ready, Freddy? Yes. Yeah. One. So then we cut it. Yeah, we just do it in half again. So we'll cut. Did yeah. someone just ask me how long do you cut it? I don't think I read that. You just, you just have to divide it into four equal pieces. Okay. So if you fold it in half and then half again, is that right? Yep. Hi, Melissa. Hi. We just, yeah. we just, we've been talking about different knots and things that you can do. Okay. So we just started. So do you have your string? Got my string. Do you have a pair of scissors, Sandy? I've got scissors. Cut it into four equal pieces. Okay, I have four equal pieces. Close to equal, at least. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to just fold it in half. We're not going to cut it again. But we're going to fold it in half so you have a loop with four pieces. And then hanging down, you have eight strands. Okay. Do we cut those? No, no. Don't cut it. We're all done with scissors. I think this is <laughs> yeah, okay. This is gonna be your hanger. Go hide them. <laughs> so, so now you have to decide how you want your hanger to be. So the one that I've rated, I actually only had three strands because I didn't go back and look at my directions. Um but you could probably still braid it like with, I don't know, can you make a braid with four, four strands? I don't know. Oh, Karen says yes. I want to see this, Karen. <laughs> it would be Karen Wins and not Karen Borgeson. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so on my original one, I just twisted it so they would stay together. Don't that um, You could braid it. You could tie a bunch of knots, totally up to you. I think this one I'll just leave as a loop. Or should I try to make it this, the diamond knot? You want to see me try and do that? Yeah. Okay, I'll try the diamond knot. Oh, hold on. Let me show you these websites really fast. So, my controls are in my way. Um, this first website is CS Designs. She had several links. They were several um, examples of knots, but they're teeny tiny pictures. And there weren't very many, but this, this I like the directions for the square knot. It was easy to see. And also the, um, Right half hitch knot was easy to see with her directions. The next one, and I, and again, I sent these all to you about a half hour, 45 minutes before we started. So you can go back and check them out whenever you need to. Um, this one, if you scroll down, has all sorts of different knots that you can use. And that's where I, most of the knots I'm going to make, those are the directions that I followed. So from that page. I also included an e directions for an eternity right. knot because I thought it was really pretty. And the diamonds. Yeah. Hmm? You, you, yeah. wash mm. you guys can see all these different websites I'm showing you, right? So yeah. Just checking. Yeah, um, I can see them. <laughs> And then this, this was for the button knot. I thought I would include that because it was fun to make once I figured it out. So let's go back to, you want me to try the diamond stitch? Mm, hang on just one second. Let me make sure that's the same one I did. Oh no, it's a cross knot. That's what it was. Oh, I like the cross knot. So it was on this website. 
Here's the cross knot. Mm -hmm. So you start with your loop. Let me make my pictures a little bigger because it's farther away from me. So this. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're fine. Got to mute you. Mute, mute me. Let me see if I can arrange my windows better. Just one second. Oh yeah. Can you see my hands and the directions from the website? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh good. Yeah. Okay. Do it a little bit better. This is better. All right. So we're going to start with the loop. Just like that. And that's with all four, all of your strands? With all of my strands. Okay. And I'm going to leave maybe this much for my loop. Okay. So I'm going to try to make that stay my loop. So you're going to take the stuff on the right and put it behind the stuff on the left. Stuff on the right. So you're going to put... Yeah. And then pull it back over to the right. So this one goes behind and this one goes above. It looks kind of like a, a music staff. Yes. We good so far? Mm -hmm. So far. Good. So yeah. far. <laughs> so you want this, you want this side behind this side. So make this one flat and bring this one this way. And then you want to take it back over that way, but you want to keep that loop. So see how it looks like that? Okay. Okay. I think someone just sent me a message, but I can't find... I can't find my chat screen, so I'm really sorry. I can't answer you if you did, because I don't know where it went. It should be right here where I have choices and it's gone. Zoom and I don't get along. All right, so the next step, we're gonna take this, this tail that comes down, mm -hmm. and we're gonna bring it up, and we're gonna go in our loop. The top loop. Top loop. And then behind this tail. Wait a minute. Okay, through the loop. So the tail that was hanging down this way, we brought up and went through the loop. So it's under the loop. Come on, you little bugger. <laughs> and it's also under this tail that's going off to the right. Okay, let's see if I can. Come on. There's so many strands. <laughs> no, it's kind of hard. And then behind, oh, okay. All right. Behind this one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. All right. I made a, I made a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can pick a different knot in a minute. It's okay. All right. You don't have to do the same one. So now no. we're going to take this tail that goes off to the right, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And we're going to go under this other tail. And then through this loop. Through this loop. And it looks like a big hot mess right now, right? Mm -hmm. Right. All right, so now we just have to slowly tighten it. Tighten it up. So you want to try and keep your tails even because you want you want to be <laughs> able to. You know. Oh, but that is a pretty. My, my loop is kind of big at the top. Mm. So if you loosen it up a little bit uh -huh. and and kind of work your way up. It'll make your loop smaller. Okay. 
<laughs> you you, get, you yeah. get to do a different map. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. This is... Oh my! And because it's so many strands, you do kind of have to fiddle with it to get it to lay right. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too fun. <laughs> oh my! Oh boy! Okay, keep that. I actually was able to accomplish it. I'm I'm totally astounded, but I Let was actually. I th I'm pretty sure. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm gonna show you, but hopefully that's it. Is that it? Sure. It's very pretty. <laughs> it wasn't it. I don't know. <laughs> Do you like it, Melissa? I love it. I think it's the best knot in the whole world. Then that is all that matters. What if it's uneven? Uh, is it like terribly uneven? Because mine's uneven. Yes. yes, it's a little bit uneven. Oh, mine is too. Well, we'll just keep going. And if it's totally uneven at the end and it doesn't have enough on one side, you can take it apart and start all over. Okay. We'll do that. I get my scissors out. <laughs> Not yet. Don't make anything shorter yet. So mine does not look like they don't look the same. This one? I I mean they kind of do. I don't know if I just took my time and made my strands lay neater. I'm not sure what I did different. So it does kind of look the same. Right? Sure. Yeah. Terrible. Do you like your knot, Maria? I do. I like my knot. If you like your knot, that's all that matters. You are correct. <laughs> there we go. So now you can be creative. Can so I don't like it on that side. But there you go. Let's see. If you don't like it, it's okay. We're just going to keep going and you can go back and fix it later once you figure out the whole process. Okay? okay. All right. So some things that you can do as we go along. So if you want these strands to be kind of longer, you could keep them plain and straight, or you could tie some knots in them as you go down. I'm not sure exactly how much you have string wise. So maybe follow along the process first. And then if you have a long enough tail, you could go, but you could take it apart and add some more knots to it. Oh, my. Totally up to you. But the, the whole thing is, so we've got to take two strands at a time and tie them together. So I'm just going to slide my extra strands over. I kind of laid it flat. So they kind of, kind of went in order. So I'm going to tie these first two together and I'm going to do a square knot because I really like the look of it. So, Should I be incorporating Maria one side of my strands with the other side mm -hmm. of my strands as I tie these knots? Is that what you're doing? Our, our first row of knots, we're going to take these eight strands and tie two together at a time so we end up with four but then you can start with Here's the so four knots. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you want your knots to be kind of even in height. So yeah, you, know, you can do at least start following this. I'm going to do a square mm -hmm. knot. I'm trying. <laughs> and, and, and I recorded this, so um, we can go back. tonight before I leave, I'll, put, I'll get it up on YouTube. So if you want to go back and watch, you, you can. Okay. So for a square knot, you make like a knot, like you're going to tie it, and then you come back and you do it the other way. So as you pull it together, it looks like a square. <gasps> Look <laughs> at that! And then you do it the opposite. The only the only thing I found about this this um, string that I gave you is it's kind of slippery. So like this was really pretty, and then I went to pull it tight, and it pulled one through side through more than the other. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to take the next two strands, and I'm going to do the same thing. 
little larger because I didn't mind it into them. So the first part's like you're tying your shoe and then you kind of reverse it. So when you pull it, it looks like a knot. And you want to try and get your knots in the same spot so they hang even. And that is the hardest thing. And then you would do it the opposite. So that's kind of even. It's close enough. So now I have two done. And you just keep going until you have all four pairs, so four knots. The other problem I have is I like to pull things really tight and that makes my knots kind of smushed and not look as not look like they did. But that's my OCD brain in me. You guys all doing okay? Yep. Not right. done yet. <laughs> All right, I'm just I'm gonna let you tie for a second before I tie my last one, and I'm gonna try and find my chat. There you are. Oh, I found it. Go me. It worked. Two. Right. Time my last one. Nope, that didn't work very well. Let me try that again. That reminds me, I got magazines in my car. So. Okay. Oh, they don't have to be perfectly even. Um, and after you get it all done, you can kind of wiggle the knot some and, and line them up a little bit more if you want to, if it bothers you. Or you can just say, oh, it's so pretty and I'm going to put the fire <laughs> in the back. Go. That's what I'm going with. Oh boy. Reminds, was, reminds me why I don't do macrame anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when I was helping my mom this weekend with flowers, um, my cousin got married and my mom did the flowers. So I was helping her and we actually used these jars and did little flower arrangements for the tables. And she did an example one and my aunt and I were, were trying to recreate her example. And we'd hold it up to her and say, Mom, how's this look? And she's like, it is so cute. <laughs> and after a while, I'm like, you're not even looking anymore. You're lying to me. I used to do my cry so many years ago. But, but it's what you wanted to hear at the time. No, I wanted her to tell me the truth because I didn't <laughs> like it. Okay, so you in the end, they all turned out. They were really cute in the end, but. Just need to go up a little bit. They able to have the wedding indoors, or were they required to do it outdoors with COVID? It was in Ohio, and they don't they have different rules. Um, but okay. it was it was outside. They but they had a tent because it was supposed I mean, to be exactly. rainy and nasty. But it ended up to be a beautiful evening. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. <laughs> no All right. All right. We ready? To move on. Yep. All right. Yeah. So this is where it gets a little more tricky. Really? Yes. So we have our four knots. Well, now we have to regroup. So these two are going to go together. These two are going to go together. So you know, you got these two are going to go together. And then these two on the end are going to go together. Oh, yes. Or some form of that. So, so you're taking the two knot, the two. Okay. You know what I mean? And then this one. And tying the next two together. 
Right. What sort of the same net? length down? I would make them much shorter because so this is the one I made earlier. So this was my first knot and it landed right around the rim of the jar. And this was the next one and it was about halfway. This knot was at oh. the bottom. And then this knot was in the middle at the bottom. Yeah, so like an inch, inch down or inch and a half? Yeah. I'd aim more for an inch than an inch and a half. Okay. An inch. <laughs> <laughs> in the same knot, right, Maria? We're trying to do the same knot, correct? Yep. Unless you want to mix it up. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with her. Oh no. That's funny. My um my niece was a bridesmaid, so I chased her little girl around for a while while they were getting ready, and she's two. And she is the most independent two-year-old I've ever met. She wants to do it all herself. And so I was just following her around. My cousin lives on a farm, and they have goats. And so she was just roaming around looking at everything. And I'd follow her, and Maisie would turn around and look at me, and she'd swat at me. No! No! <laughs> She wanted to get in trouble without me following her. <laughs> so I was told no a lot. It was very funny. Oh, that's too short. And like I said, as long as you don't pull these like super duper tight, um, you can kind of rearrange the knots a little bit when you're done to make them land where they need to land. I'm not landing anywhere. <laughs> Right. Well, so far, this is really easy to lay flat to do, but it's about to get more challenging. Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, coming. And here we go. We're going to now make these. This one goes under, and this one goes over. Okay. Do you want help me do that? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So now what we want to do is you want to lay these out in this one was one, this one was one, and this one was one. So what you're gonna do now is these two are gonna be partners. These partners, two. that's a good description. <laughs> are going to be partners. These two are going to be partners. So start with those and you want to make, do the same thing with those. Leave these till the last and I'll show you how to do those. Okay. okay. So these, these two together. So we're going to do the same thing and make it only shorter. Don't make as long of a length. Let's see, so we're doing there. Maria, are we doing there. another one? Did you say? Say that again. Are we doing another set of these knots yet? Or wait? You can do another set. And do I put different pairs of strings together? So this is where it gets really challenging. You, okay. You're still, it's the, the, the strings that are beside each other. So if I have these two knots here, these two are going to go together. So it's just like we did before, but it's now okay. round. So it's hard to see those. So one thing I did do is I have, um, right above my desk, I have some cabinets. So I stuck, I'm gonna set my camera down for a second right. so I can do it. Not this one, these two, but you got it right on that one. So just pull those down, yeah. So in other words, I'm not sticking with the same strings. I wanna do, partner these different strings. Correct, but they're the strings that are beside it. So you have to kind of figure out. So I took a pencil in my cabinet handle and hung it on there. And oh, that yeah. made it easier for me right. to see which way. ones go together. So they kind of, yeah. But you can do it while it's laying down also. 
Melissa, Melissa, are you okay? I can't hear. You're muted, Melissa. Why am I missing? Um, I, I, uh, I, I, yeah, I'm good so far, but I, there, it's not super even, but I know what I mean. I can. You can, it. yeah. So after you and get that, we're going one inch down, right, Maria? Another inch down. Correct. One left on either side. Uh. So you're going to find two knots that are beside each other and take two of those strands that come down and tie the knots again. Okay. And then we got these two left. Yeah, so then you got to do the same thing with these two. You make sure you only make them so long. But that's going to be kind of like those two. Mm -hmm. This is the hardest part. I swear. <laughs> How will October's craft be? <laughs> yeah. I'll show you in a second. It's Maybe I don't want to do the next one. No, I'm just kidding. It is super cute. It is. I saw it. Okay, so. Something is wrong here. No, wait a minute, I'll help you one second. I know how I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay, there's that, and then this. I might need to have a glass of wine with this. <laughs> Go right ahead. Okay. I'm not allowed, though. It's sad. Okay, you can... um, okay, but this one needs to come be pulled down somehow because it's bulging. But you did it. You did it okay. But you got to do it again. That's the bad news. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. So now you did it. So now we got to do the same thing. Let's find the little partners. Okay. So that would be these two. And let's flip this puppy over. Yeah. All right. I think. Put another knot in. Yeah, but you got to make sure, wait, make sure you're in with the right one. If these two together, these two together, see you. Yeah, 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 get out of there. It's these two. <laughs> <laughs> and you're moving in on the other guy's territory here. Okay. So I think I have enough knots tied in mine. I'm going to put my jar in. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to start from the bottom because you can't tell what's where. And then what do you do? And I just kind of want to make sure it fits more than anything. And that my knots are kind of right. Oh, it's right through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> um, so okay. my knots appear to be a little crooked. There. It's a little uneven, but it's there. It's holding it. Right. So now the last step you have to do is you have to tie all of them together at the bottom. But I have found it's it's good to just check and make sure that you have all the knots. And so then you can kind of decide how, where you want that bottom knot to be. You did two oh, rows of these one inchers, one inch knots. And now you're going to just tie it all at the bottom? It is actually three rows of the knots when we tie two strings together oh it's three of those oh right but you probably did do three we did do three yeah we did there's three yeah yeah okay so now you're gonna tie a knot at the bottom and you can <laughs> you can figure out a fancy knot later on if you want to you can just tie a big so what see you mine do, or? well, you see, you're gonna put a thing at the bottom, like a uh, knot at the bottom. Well, let's see if these are close to. Some of my tails are a little short. It's a little challenging. Okay, so you got oh, same here. Two, mm -hmm. Put some more knots on. Two, two. Uh, Why are we... Maybe two knots at the bottom. Yes, Could probably we... do that. Yeah, we we probably didn't. Yeah. So 
what you can do is, I don't think they're together. They're, this guy is missing his partner here. So there's, so there's one. I wonder if it's this, these two guys. Because you got, okay. So we got. Yeah, really short. Why did that guy? We've got three knots on this one. Oh no. This one. Oh no. I lost, <laughs> I lost a string. Okay. Oh, it's that one right there, and I don't think I can get it. I'm just going to pull that tight and let that be. I think we're missing. Well, the glass hasn't fall, fallen out yet. Well, that's good. <laughs> one, two. I think this is kind of only two. Yeah, this one's only got two. I'm trying to find its partner. Okay. See how it's only got two? It's nice. like there's like we're missing one on this one. I think the knot at the bottom is the hardest. This, <laughs> yes, I think so too. Um Let's see, you got this, but I'm thinking maybe this one. It's only got two. It needs to have. I think this one needs to. Then you'd be tied together. I think it almost looks like. Pat, if you put the jar in, it might ah. make it. It it might make it easier to see. Okay. Yeah. Where it's not right. Okay. Hold the top up. The top Maria, we moved our bottom knot up to hold the jar better. Oh, that's a good plan. That one. Teresa, you've almost got it. Can you see me? Oh, we got something missing. Yeah, we got that one. Look, I got it. Good job. So I think we can tie it. I went and got some. <gasps> See, you Karen has twinkly that lights. Out. Check that out. Like four knots. Karen, awesome. See how it's up. I had the great plan string, to get it, but if you had one battery operated, it'd be cute. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I had great plans right. to get you something to put in the jar, yeah. and then life happened, and I had to have the kit ready oh, for you, and one there. you get what you get. <laughs> My OCD will make me play with this for a long time. I can tell. We oh, yeah, need done. Time. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Do this one while I'm we'll right. right. we finish this one. Oh, see, yours looks so cute. Well, yours will too. Well, you then too. After, after you get oh, the bottom, the what's left? Got to send my you can you can trim it to be even. You can you can um, unwind oh. it so it's fuzzy. Oh, like you that. could put more knots on it. I don't like that bottom because my um, because my I, what else could you do with the bottom? How did you do the bottom knot? I wasn't watching. You could it is just that. I just took oh, all the. All the pieces? All the pieces and made a regular. You could put little beads on each one of the, the leftover strings. Yes. That'd be cute. I just looped it around and pulled it through the loop. Okay. I'm having a hard time getting my hand under the camera to show you. I'm sorry. I don't know what my trouble is. Does anybody remember the the wonderfully named store called Pot City that used to be at Williams Lake Road? You could buy macrame stuff in pots. No. no, this was back in the 70s and early 80s. Yeah, it was called Pot City. Pot City? Are you sure they weren't talking about something else? No, I'm just They kidding. were not. They <laughs> were not. Good. It was that was going to be my question. <laughs> lots of beads, lots of, lots of jute. I remember a lot of jute. Where was it at? It was, uh, there's a dollar store, a dance place, and a... Was it Royal there. No, it was um, at Williams Lake in 59. 
oh, I didn't live out this way then. Okay. That's why I don't know. Yeah, it was in that uh, that um, shopping center there. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna stop my recording. <laughs> okay. I did. But we'll take this last one.